Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today is the 20th of February uh, 2013 and the time in London is 13 minutes past 7 p.m. In New York, uh, 13 minutes past 2 uh, p.m. Uh, happy trading to you all. The title of this video is Advanced Technical Indicators. We have the MACD indicator, uh, we have the RSI indicator, we have also the stochastic indicator. Uh, there are many technical uh, indicators, but in this video we'll focus uh, on a specific uh, advanced uh, uh, technical uh, indicator. The red line that we see on this chart this is what we call the smart media line. The smart media line is uh, one of the advanced uh, technical uh, indicators. And it is uh, what we call a critical price level. There are six uh, critical price levels, but the most influential uh, critical price level is the smart media line. This is the red line here. The smart media line for the pound dollar currency pair is at 15271. If you trade okay, this uh, currency pair, you must note down this uh, important uh, price level because this is uh, the smart media line, which is also an advanced uh, technical uh, indicator. How do we calculate uh, the smart media line? We go to the yearly chart. All right, if you have never looked at the yearly chart, this is it, okay? So on the yearly chart, we will select uh, five, uh, okay, candles, okay? So including the current year, this is the year 2013, 2012, 2011, 2010, and 2009. So one candle here, second, third, fourth, fifth. We need the five years candle, including the current year, to calculate the smart media line. The smart high is the high of the range of the five years candle. You see these five, five candles here. The highest point for these five candles is uh, okay. The green line here. The lowest point for these uh, five candles is the blue line here. The highest point for the five candle. That's what we call uh, okay. The smart high. The lowest point for the five years candle is what we call the smart low. To calculate uh, the smart media line, we will use the smart highs minus the smart low divided by two plus the smart low. I repeat, to calculate the smart media line, which we call also the SML, Sierra Mike Lima. Okay, we will use the smart high minus smart low divided by two plus the smart low. This is the formula to calculate the smart media line. The red line here, that's what we call the smart media line, is the most influential smart media line. At the beginning of the year, which means on the 1st of January of each year, we will calculate a smart media line. That smart media line, that's what we call the root smart media line. The root smart media line is the first smart media line, okay, at the beginning of the year, okay. If a financial instrument is very, very bullish, it will display what we call a dynamic smart media line. So at the beginning of the year, we will have the root smart media line, but as the smart range, the smart range is uh, the range between the smart low and the smart high. As the smart range is changing, increasing, okay, to the upside or to the downside, the smart media line will change. So we'll have a smart, we will have the root smart media line, but we will have a new smart media line, which we call the dynamic smart media line. In this case, for the pound dollar currency pair, what we have here is what we call the root smart media line. This is the first smart media line at the beginning of the year. If the, the smart range did not change okay, throughout the whole year, we will have only one smart media line. But if the smart range has changed, okay, we have this level moving up, or the price display a new lower low for the five current years, okay, we will have a new smart media line, which we will call a dynamic smart media line. But the root smart media line is the first smart media line at the beginning of the year. Okay, these are simple trading tools, though it may sound a bit complicated for some traders, but do not be afraid, there's nothing complicated with it. Okay, it's a powerful key levels. Most traders will use the stochastic overbought sell, oversold buy. Some traders will use the RSI, some traders will use the MACD. Professional traders are looking for value. If you look on this chart now, we go now to the 
what's happening today. Look on the chart. Since yesterday, we knew that, okay, this uh, pound dollar currency pair is oversold. But since then, the small, the small money, okay, the small money is not satisfied, okay, with what is taking place here. They want to buy, and they want to buy more, okay? But they don't want to buy, okay, at any price, all right? So they are pushing the price, okay, near the small mid line. Since yesterday we were here, and I was telling trader that, uh, okay, they, I was telling trader that um, there is a psychological price level at uh, 154, a six zero. I will draw a line there to show you. Okay. At that point in time, I say to trade a priority to buy signal above. Okay. The one five four a six zero, which I'm going to call now in pink. Okay. So we were here yesterday, and we were watching this level carefully to see whether the find the support. So I say to trade a priority priority to buy signal above the psychological price level around one five four six zero. But as the price did below the pink line, which is the psychological price level, the music has changed. As the price rolling it down, the small money knew where is the small media line. Okay, this is the small media line, they knew it. So they don't want to buy here. They force the price down. Look up to the small media line right here. You see that very often when a price is coming near the small media line, you will see that because, okay. The smart traders know where is the smart media line. They would like to buy either below the smart media line or near the smart media line. The best thing to happen is what is happening now is to allow the price to dip below the smart media line and to go back above the smart media line and to find a support above it. So we want to test the lower part of the smart media line to see whether there are buyers. If there are buyers, they will buy and bring back the price above the smart media line. And if the price finds support above the smart media line, we will look for opportunity to buy. But it's not a magic level where one can just place a trade to buy or to sell. But one will look at the price itself, the number one indicator, okay, which means we draw channels, okay, and we take value signal. Either we use TSTW24 or TSTWS8, okay, to trade around these key levels. The key levels are not magic level, but they are very important level. And the small money are watching these uh, key levels. There is what we call the CPL1, this is the critical price level number two, CPL2, three, four, five, six, okay? And the, the most influential critical price level is the small media line, which is the red line here for the pound dollar, is at uh, 15271. When we know the critical price level, we will note it down, okay, very important. And we are watching the reaction of the price around the critical price level. It does not mean that the price will definitely find a support around here, but we know that the price is at a very important price level where hedge funds and other big market players will be watching the reaction of the market, okay, around these key levels, all right? So this is one of, uh, okay, the advanced uh, technical indicator. If you want to know more, okay, you may go to Google and search for the article that we title, Trading, uh, okay, Critical Price Level, okay? Go to Google, type in Trading Critical Price Level. You will see an article written by myself when I explain to traders what is the roots of my line, what is the dynamic roots of my line, okay? and how to use this Mamija line with other examples, okay? Also, if you go, for instance, at, to our website, www.dprotraders.com, www.dprotraders.com, you click on um, uh, the page that we call Market Watch, right here, Market Watch. You will also read uh, uh, more about this, uh, the formula is here for this Mamija line, and you read a bit more about this Mamija line, but the article, that I talk about will give you more information, okay, about the smart media line, okay. Another page here that you will pay attention to, talking about advanced technical, okay, indicator. There is something here that we call core value trading. We talk about the G range. What is the G range? You want to know, all right. And also, what is uh, okay, a financial instrument profile. 
This is about the core value trading. These are advanced uh, technical indicators that uh, the professional and the big money are using. As I'm showing you here on this uh, chart of the pound dollar currency pair, this is a very important uh, phenomenon happening here. And this small money, as you see, uh, since uh, yesterday, though there was opportunity to buy, okay, around this level, they rejected this level and uh, forces the price. This is just uh, buying at the best, best place, forcing the price to the small media line. They, they know this level and they are watching this level. They are not satisfied to buy here. And though uh, traders were buying here, the small money, that's why I said to traders yesterday, priority to buy signal above the 15460, which means if the price goes below that level, either you close your trade or you know what you are doing. As you have seen today, the price have moved down more, okay, and then went back to the, okay, a small media line. Okay, you see, it did below it, which is perfectly okay. Now, we will wait. If it goes back above it and, uh, okay, find an excellent support, we'll give it a chance, taking value signal, and see what is likely uh, to take place. I hope uh, you have enjoyed this video about uh, okay advanced uh, technical indicators that you will put into use okay to make excellent uh, trading decisions. We are the TSTW S Y S zero zero eight traders. I speak to you soon. Thank you.